right now. He's got a situation going with the Dark Patriot who we, we, we are pretty sure it's Doug Gilbert anyway as uh, we uh, talked to him uh, last week, the Dark Patriot, after he had jumped Ryan Christopher. He's got the mask in hand right here, but he's going to try to make it official this week, an official unmasking of the Dark Patriot. I think there's no doubt the crowd thinks he can do it as he's greeted warmly as he heads this way. Brian, this is a sweet Greeted situation. warmly, Dave. How about greet me warmly? <laughs> right. It's good to see you, Dave. You know, I want to talk about a little something out here today. I want to talk about how I've been wrestling here for about four years. And ever since I started wrestling, I've made a lot of enemies, as you well know, sure. in this business. I've made a lot of enemies. But one enemy that I've made that has been a thorn in my side for about 10 months straight has been dangerous Doug Gilbert. And I've come out here and I've talked about how sick and tired I am. And I've talked about how I've had it to hear with him. And I thought that I'd seen the last of Doug Gilbert. I thought I would never have to see him again ever since he got suspended. But you know, Doug Gilbert is just like a little spoiled brat. Because instead of taking the suspension like a man, what he did was he went out and he got him a mask and he put that mask on and he's calling himself the Dark Patriot. And you know, Dave, I told everybody that what I was going to do was I would wrestle him and I would, after I beat him, take that mask off and show everybody that you know I know, all these fans over here know, everybody sitting at home knows that it is Doug Gilbert under the mask. I beat him, I took the mask off. As you see, I have it right here in my hand. I took the mask off to prove that it was Doug Gilbert, but they told me that he covered his face up. Nobody got it on camera. None of the fans was able to take a picture to prove that it was Doug Gilbert. So, Dark Patriot, what I've done is I've got a match signed this week. And he went crying to Eddie Marlin as well over the phone. We got a match now. I told you last week I would beat you. And I'm telling you this week that I will beat you and I will unmask you. And when I do unmask you, that's when I'm going to shave your head bald. Okay, Joe Gilbert? Now, he wants... He says that if he beats me, then Doug Gilbert gets to return. Well, just the man I want to see. Back him up. Back him up. What are you doing here? Well, you what say about Give me back. What do you want? What do I want? If there's one thing, if there's one thing that I can't stand, it's a crybaby. And for the last couple of weeks, crying Brian here has come out here saying that the Dark Patriot and Doug Gilbert are the same person. And that's absurd. Doug Gilbert's suspended. He can't be two places at once. Oh, come on, Scott. We... Well, you know what I hate, Scott Bowden? I hate a liar. And that's what you are. You're a big liar. If you're going to lie to me and lie to all these people, boy, then you know, see, he's so full of stupidity, it's coming out of your mouth. Hey, hey, I can back up what I say, Brian Christopher. Right now, I have the Dark Patriot in the back. Hey, we don't have to wait, big boy. We don't have to wait. Climb in the ring. If you beat the Dark Patriot here today, on TV, in front of all you idiots in your fan club over here, he'll unmask. He'll unmask. What do you think you about got that? The dark, you got the Dark Patriot here today. He is here, my friend. And you, you'll put him in the ring. And if I beat him, I unmask him right here today and prove it to everybody right here on live TV. Hey, go for it, baby. There's the ring. Get in there. Well, uh, I don't know. Hey, it's up to Brian. Opportunity. Here's your opportunity, big mouth. Okay, Scott Batten, if you got him here today, get his butt in the ring. Oh. Hey, okay. Oh. That's fine. That's fine. Dark Patriot, get out here. Get out of here right now. We're going to clear this up once and for all, Dave Brown. I think you may have just made a mistake right here. started all these accusations in the first uh, place about them being the same person. Just pointing out the obvious as right we were talking okay. to it. Here comes the Dark Patriot right here. Head to the ring. We don't want to talk anymore about it. Head on up there. And uh, you heard Scott Bowden say if Brian Christopher can beat him, 
then we'll take the mask off right here today on television and we will show you that it's Doug Gilbert. All right, let's wow. see. Dark Patriot is in the ring and uh, oh, there it's kids, the referees in there. Dark Patriot and Brian Christopher. Uh, the crowd is telling Brian something. I don't know what they're saying. Brian says he doesn't think that's Doug Gilbert. Well, well. I want all these morons over here to stop chanting Doug, Doug. They want to cheer for my guy calling Dark Patriot, Dark Patriot. Doug Patriot or Dark Patriot? I didn't, I didn't understand exactly what he said. Oh. Dark Patriot understood that body slam from Christopher. He's out of the ring. He understood that Brian was after that yeah. mask, too. You... Brian said he doesn't think it's Doug Gilbert. Well, well, I'm sitting here thinking the same exact thing. I don't, I don't know. I didn't pay attention when he walked by. I'm just, I mean, I talked to, to Dark Patriot last week. He was out here making accusations along with uh, Bowden about what he was going to do to uh, to Brian Christopher. And there's no doubt yeah. in my mind that the Dark Patriot was Doug Gilbert. No doubt at all. And uh, Dark Patriot standing in the ring with stipulations that if he's beaten today, he will be unmatched right here on TV. Brian Christopher tangles up with the Dark Patriot, backs him in the corner. You know, we'll have to have to get a verification from uh, the promoters. But if Brian uh, can take that mask off here today, too, doesn't that put Gilbert in a hair match? Look at this, one, two. Two. Oh, 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 man, only a count of two. I thought he had it. I thought he had him, too. Two count, and the Dark Patriot kicks out of it. Oh, Bob's complaining. Say he pulled his sights, he pulled his mask. Referee Kevin Christian not wasting any time counting the Dark Patriot there. Dark Patriot gets back in the ring. What about that was unscheduled here today on USWA Wrestling? Turn out to be a big, big turning point between Brian Christopher and the Dark Patriot. Patriot whips him into the rope. Christopher! Drop down with that backdrop from the Dark Patriot. Brian Christopher trying to get to his feet. Dark Patriot climbing the ropes up on the top rope. Christopher throws him in the middle of the ring. There goes Brian Christopher climbing the ropes. He's on the top rope. Got the leg on the Patriot. One, two, he got it. That's going to do it. He Take off the mask. The Patriot. Take that mask off and let's see who's under there. Here's the unveiling coming up. The camera's in place. The mask being loosened by Brian Christopher. And there's the, oh no, 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 here comes. That's Doug Gilbert right there. Bowden. That is Doug Gilbert. Bowden switched Dark Patriots. He had somebody else dressed up in his dark patriot outfit. Whoever it was, we couldn't get a look at his face. He is out of here. That is obviously Doug Gilbert, though. I would bet money on that one. Man. Oh, man. Come on, stop. Stop of this stuff, I tell you. Brian Christopher gets the win fair and square, and they throw the referee out. Bowden and, uh... That dark patron who we almost sure is Doug Gilbert comes jumping in here. And man, they just don't get enough, Dave. Boy, they sure don't. Bowden and Doug Gilbert, I'm going to see it. I, he can wear a mask all he wants to. Going after Brian Christopher. Christopher, oh, the equalizer maybe wrapped around the right fist. He's after him. Oh, now, Bowden. Bowden and the Patriot. Whoever he is, decide it's time to go. But I tell you what, Brian will have another chance. Got a match officially booked. Officially booked against the Dark Patriots. Coming we'll up. be back here with more USWA action. Coming up.
Y'all know my sons, Chris, Joey, and Andy. But we're here to announce a new edition. Randy Hales and Randy, this miss of action has been taking place in Jonesboro, Arkansas, the Old Bell Community Center, and uh, it's not going to be over with tonight. You know, Corey, I'm not out here to talk as a wrestling promoter. I'm here to talk to Scott Bowden. You know, everybody knows that I was a wrestling fan from the time I was eight, nine years old. Yep. Used to go to the matches, sell Eddie Marlin pictures, gotten involved in professional wrestling. It was my dream to be involved in professional wrestling, and I've lived that yeah, dream. You lived it situation that took place a couple of weeks ago in Jonesboro when we had matches over there with Scott Bowden. Scott Bowden, Bowden came out, ended up insulting Jonesboro, insulting me, ended up with uh, the spellbinder out there, and I got slapped around pretty good. Well, let me tell you something, Scott Bowden. There's not a wrestler around that I can whoop, but I promise the people... Hey, come on now, Scott. What do you want now? You've been out here enough today. You right now, Scott Bowden. I'll take care of you. Me and Brian Christopher... Brian agreed to be my partner, and tonight, against you and Spellbinder, I promise the people, brother, that I can take care of you, and Brian, all the people know, can certainly take care of the Spellbinder. Yeah, tonight, it's yeah. you talk about your dream being in wrestling, it's going to turn into a nightmare tonight, because with the Spellbinder by my side, we can beat anybody. All you have to do is come to Jonesboro tonight, That's Scott right. Bowden. Hey, I hate coming to Jonesboro, that redneck town, you're the king hey, of the redneck, on. Scott. No, it is. Hey, don't come on, Bob. What's up? Hey, don't back away, Freddy. What's up? Hey, what's up, Randy? What's up? Hey, come on, Spellbinder. Come on, Scott. Leave him alone, would you? Let's get some help out there for Randy. Come on, Scott. Oh, get off of him. Get out of here, would you? Scott Bowden and the Spellbinder jump on Randy. Got his jacket showing the back there too, Scott Bowden, God bad, man, I'm telling you. Ripped his jacket all the time. Gonna be a big Texas death match down there tonight with Brian Christopher and Randy Hales. And uh, I know one thing. Randy, if you could, I'd like you to stand there for just a few seconds. Scott Bowden. Are you okay? It's obvious that you got a serious problem, boy. Because all you are is a boy. But you're trying to come out here and act like a man. Because what you're doing is he hides behind all his goons. He'll hide behind them and take advantage of Randy Hales. See, he's mad. He's mad. Because a, a couple of weeks ago when they came out here and they tried to cut his hair. Well, let me just inform all the people. A couple of weeks ago in Jonesboro, this man right here stood up to Scott Bowden. He stood up to Scott Bowden. He has never claimed to be a wrestler. But he stood up to Scott Bowden and he got Scott Bowden in the ring. But once again, Scott Bowden had this spellbinder come running out there and attack this man. Well, tonight, boys, in Jonesboro, Arkansas, we got ourselves a match. The Spellfinder, Scott Bowden, against myself and Jonesboro's own Randy Hale. He's going to climb in the ring. And boys, he's never claimed that he can beat up a man. But I'm positive that he can beat you up, Scott Bowden. So you just be there in Jonesboro because he's got a score to settle with you as well as I do because I'm sick and I'm tired of you and I'm going to bust this board over somebody's head before this day's over with. Uh, Randy Hales and uh, Brian Christopher. Good to see Brian come out and help Randy Hales tonight.